What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and for this video I'm here to give you guys a product review on the PlayStation Vita Power Grip. Now this item here serves two different purposes. The first of which is to provide additional grip for the PlayStation Vita as you can easily tell right here on the left and right side. The second main function of this item is to provide additional battery life because hence the name Power Grip. This does feature a built-in battery pack located right here and it's supposed to provide at least double the amount of battery life for your PlayStation Vita and I gotta say it holds true. But before I go into further details about that, let me go ahead and talk about the actual build quality of this item. Does it feel cheaply made or is it strongly made and built to last? I gotta say this was actually built to last. I mean, in order for me to snap this like a twig, I would have to put a lot more force in order just to break this. Just, you know, trying to bend it and then snapping it. It would require me to use a lot more force in order to do that. But just the overall build quality and stuff like that, like messing around with it and trying to break it, uh, it was it was built to last, which is a good and positive thing about this. So the overall build quality, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. And of course, as you can tell, your Vita goes here and you have easy access to the actual rear touchpad of your product, which I'll demonstrate a little bit later in this video and of course for your camera as well. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is the actual battery life, the battery pack right here. It states to provide additional battery life for your PlayStation Vita and I'm happy to say that when my PlayStation Vita is fully charged and this is fully charged, I got about 10 and a half to 11 hours of battery life. That's a good amount of time because the PlayStation Vita just by itself has about four and a half to five hours of battery life. But with these two items together, I got about 10 and a half to 11 hours, depending on what I'm currently doing. And that's with the mixture of watching movies, straight up gaming, or whatever the, it is that you want to do. But just with my test, it was pretty much straight up gaming. And like I said, 10 and a half to 11 hours is a really good amount of game time with the actual product. So I'm really pleased about that. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is how do you charge this item, which is the most common question I see on the internet. It's pretty simple because when you get this item, all you're getting is this and an instruction booklet. That's all you get. You get, you get no cables or anything like that to charge it. In order to charge this item, you actually use the same cable that comes with your PlayStation Vita, same charging cable, or you could buy one separate through some other uh, retail stores. But in order to charge this, it's simple. All you do is plug it into this slot right here, like the same way you plug in for your PlayStation Vita and boom just like that it'll be charging so when it's charging it'll have a red light when it's done charging it'll be a green light in the product overall in terms of how long it takes to charge when I first got it it took about four to five hours just to charge this so that's a, quite a bit of time but afterwards it took about three and a half to four hours to charge so it reduced quite a bit so um, just I what I'm thinking is that just the first time use you know it's gonna take the longest and then afterwards it's gonna be a little bit shorter than that but that's the overall length, like I said, about three and a half or three to three and a half hours of charge time, depending on, I guess, your power or something. But anyways, that's it. Like I said, you get a red light when it's charging and it's going to be green when it's fully charged. And when this is actually low on battery, this will start blinking red as well. So that's in terms of the charging. So I went over the build quality. The overall battery life is really good. And of course, that's how you charge it. And of course, right here, you do have some uh, little functions. Let me go ahead and fix that for you guys. There you go. Over here, you're going to notice a switch. You have an unlock and lock spot. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to actually put this on your PlayStation Vita. It's quite simple to do. So first of all, let me go ahead and fix the focus again. So in order to put this onto your PlayStation Vita, it's quite simple. What you first have to do is flip the switch to the unlock spot, which is all the way on the top. Next, you have to pull this item down like so. Next thing, next step to do is grab your PlayStation Vita, put the top part in, slide it in first like so, lay this down, then what you're going to do is just snap the, both items together, which you might hear a little snap, and then you're going to have to flip this to the lock slot, and boom, now your PlayStation Vita is secured, and with the PlayStation Vita in it, I got to say it's actually a secured fit overall. I mean, it doesn't feel like extremely loose, like my PlayStation Vita is going to you know come falling out or anything like that so overall the you know just holding the actual Vita is really good and I'm, I'm pleased about that so let me go ahead and go over in terms of do you have access to all your ports and slots just like before well yes and no in terms of the majority of the slots you have access to you do have access to the majority of the slots so you do have at one second you do have access to the headphone slot located over here course it's actually going to be using the plug so you can actually 
if you wanted to, you could actually plug in the charging cable while your PlayStation Vita is in here, and this will start charging. And in terms of how this actually works together, what would happen is that with these two items put together, it's going to use the battery life of this item here first, then it's going to actually use the remaining battery of the PlayStation Vita. So it's going to use this power first, then it's going to use the Vita power. Or let's say your Vita was actually low on power already, this will start using the power first, and then of course it's also going to be charging your PlayStation Vita at the same time, which I think is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and take that off. Uh, next, let's go ahead and go over the actual top. You do have access to your volume controls on the top, and of course the power button as well. Two things you're going to notice right away is that in order to change out your games or to access the accessory port, is that you would have to take this off in order to do that, which is, uh, you know, not really a big deal because it's not really hard to put on at all. But just note that if you're going to change your games, you do have to take this off in order just to get to the game slot. And of course, you do have access to the memory card slot, but maybe a little bit of a pain to get to. So probably not. So yeah, just the, you know, your headphone slot. Uh, you do have access to all your buttons like so, the power button, and of course the volume switch as well, and of course the triggers as well. So you do have access to all that, and of course in terms of the actual back. You do have access to the actual rear touchpad and of course the camera as well. So you have access to pretty much everything that you really need to get started. Like I said, if you need to change out your games, then you would actually have to take this out. So overall with this on it, I gotta say it has a really comfortable feel. It kind of feels like holding a PS3 controller, maybe just a little bit different because these are a little bit skinnier than what a you know PS3 controller is. So you know, just a bit skinnier. But the overall comfort is actually really good and from what I've heard as well is that there's some people who have like you know really large hands and just the beat itself is really uncomfortable. Uh, but if you have like really large hands and you need something to help grip the Vita better, then this will be a definitely a good item to get for you as well because like I said, it provides additional grip. It feels comfortable for me. If you have big hands, it should be comfortable for you. And of course too, just playing a game is really quite simple. I mean, like I said, you have access to pretty much everything that you need to get to gaming with it is really comfortable uh, not really you know a big issue as in you know it's not hindering or what am I trying to say <laughs> uh, basically you know after long periods of extended time of gaming with this you know it's not gonna feel uncomfortable at all it just overall it feels really good to the comfort uh, gaming on this for long periods of time is gonna be really good as well but overall, I gotta say I'm happy with this product. This item, in terms of how much this is, it retails for about $30. It's the standard retail price. But certain stores like GameStop and Best Buy has a price drop on this for $20 now. But you could also try eBay and Amazon to try to find this cheaper. So you're gonna find this around $19 to $30 altogether. Uh, but overall, I think this is a must have for PlayStation Vita owners, especially if you're looking for something to extend the battery life. And of course, something that's providing you know additional comfort or grip for the PlayStation Vita. But overall, I'm going to have to give this item a full 10 out of 10. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this item, feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'm Sir James from Gamer Fusion, and remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.